Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Diddy. To be or not to be, that's all what it's about in Bitcoin. And I'm going to talk about it in this video a little bit. A short TA update. It's Monday morning. I don't even know which date exactly, but a Dutch friend of mine is uh, visiting me here, Ron, uh, one of my best youth friends, um, of course, and spending time with him. So I don't have the time to do two long videos, short TA update about Bitcoin, also talking about a little bit about to be or not to be, what it means to me and what it should mean to you. Let's quickly jump into the first couple of charts to show you what is happening at the moment, but also two charts that will show you what will happen probably in the future if we look back in the past. Now let's quickly jump into those charts over here. Bam. This is the first chart guys this is one of the most important charts because you can see um, that the wills are accumulating bitcoin how do you see that the wills are accumulating bitcoin because if you look at that yellow line since the 4th of may till now the 26th of may so that was my birthday we can see that the amount of addresses that hold more than 1000 bitcoin have increased with 30. so from around the bottom on 4 may till the top now on 26 may 30 more addresses hold more than thousand bitcoins and yes more than thousand bitcoins is what we call wills but it's 30 more bitcoin wills entering the market they understand the bottom is in they start to accumulate if a will starts to accumulate that is the end of the bear market like confirmation that you want to see you should be accumulating if you're not all in yet, this is the moment. Now, we go to the daily chart. On the daily chart, we can see something really beautiful happening. If you look to the bottom of the chart, you can see the MACD cross. The blue line on the bottom is going above the red line. And that is forcing green bars to appear on the MACD. And green bars on the daily on the MACD is very positive. Because if you look to uh, the left on the chart, on the bottom... You can see there was a lot of red candles and when there comes green candles that's mostly a bullish move so for me now the resistance is at that 50 daily moving average that green line on the top part of the chart but if we break that then we will see a lot of green candles appearing on that macd which will lead to that push that i've been talking about all the time above 30k to 37k to maybe even 40k that is what the daily chart is showing us at the moment now, next chart. This chart is the weekly chart. We're zooming out. I've shared the chart with you, where, guys, I think only three or four weeks ago, something like that. I, I drew these uh, green lines, and I said that from the bull market top till the bottom. And if we cross that, we go into these green squares. And these green squares represent the bull market. Now, just pause the video if you can't understand the charts. But you can see that every time when we... Uh, pass through or break through that line that green line and then the square starts that's the start of the bull market now i added one more line line on this chart today which is the 70 sma and that is that line that you can see changing from colors from green to red the thin the line that's going through the boxes now now look at that line every time the candles start to close above that line we can see the line changing from red, that is the bear market part, into green, which becomes the bull market part. And then when we look again, for example, um, in 2017, over here, and then we see the candles going below that green line, then the line starts, starts to become red again, and that's the bear market. When we go above it again, that's the start of the bull market. That's how simple that line works. Now, if we look at today, look what is happening. We moved already above that line. The line is turning green. We are in the beginning of that square, which means start of this beautiful bull market. This is the weekly chart, so every candle is a week. You should be accumulating Bitcoin every day, guys. If you want to buy Bitcoin, then do buy Bitcoin and buy it. I keep repeating it because I know you want to win an iPhone 14. If you use this link, there's a special action from just the Bitcoin family you get a, a chance to win that iphone 14. you just need to deposit 100 you will get 20 for free you do one leverage trade with 10 
and you and then you scan the QR code and fill the form and you can win that iPhone. It's only till the 31st of May, so you need to do it one of the next two days. Now, then, so of course, I trade Bitcoin, but I also trade other t coins on Bybit. For example, this trade now is 61% uh, up. Uh, that's a beautiful profit. And no, of course, it's not only Bitcoin that you can trade. I also trade for, for example, ID. It's a saying space ID. Now, for example, 92% profit just by trading with a little bit leverage. 10, like you can see on the top of the, the image, and 10 leverage on Bybit. Sign up to Bybit to be able to do these crazy cool trades. I might start to share these trades in my VIP Telegram group as well, so that you can trade with me on Bybit and uh, maybe even take some beautiful profits over there. Now, um, then there is one more chart I want to share with you, and that is very important because people always ask me, yeah, but it's too expensive to buy a Bitcoin. I cannot afford one Bitcoin. You don't need to buy one Bitcoin. You can buy one Satoshi, you can buy 10 Satoshi, you can buy 100 Satoshi, 1,000 Satoshi, 10,000 Satoshi, 100K Satoshi, 100 million Satoshi, that is one full Bitcoin. But if you can only afford 10 million Satoshi, that is 0.1 Bitcoin, which is around $2,700. 1 million Satoshi is around $270. 100K Satoshi is around $27. So you can buy Bitcoin in smaller amounts. And, and that is exactly what you need to do. Dollar cost average into Bitcoin. Keep stacking sets, keep buying Bitcoin. You don't need to f buy a full Bitcoin, just buy small amount of Bitcoins with the money that you have left over in the month. Maybe you can drink a little bit less alcohol and stack a little bit more sets. Maybe you can take the bike a little bit more and just consume a little bit more ga less gasoline and stack a little bit more sets. Maybe you could um, <clears throat> maybe you could ask your wife to buy less makeup <laughs> and stack a little bit more sets. Or tell her, ah, two pair of shoes is enough. Don't buy 70 pairs of shoes and stack a little more sets. Or tell your children, ah, a little bit less candy is more healthy and I can stack a little bit more sets. Or tell your kids, hmm, let's all play games online and earn some sets. You can multiply your sets in a very simple way. It's not about buying a full Bitcoin now directly. Just keep buying sets. Try to minimize your spendings on stupid stuff that you will never need, that you will only buy to impress other people, and start to focus on stacking sets more and more. You reach a very beautiful house. Look, this house here in the back. This house, I'm gonna look. It's my neighbor. That's where I live, this is my neighbor. Tuesday, I have an appointment. And to check it out at the house because it looks really beautiful with a beautiful pool. Maybe it's a beautiful Bitcoin family house for the future. Now, I hope um, you understand what I'm saying about stacking sets. I hope you uh, did like this video. If you did enjoy the video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about all of this? Wow, look, and what do you think about this? These beautiful flowers here and the cactus. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. See you tomorrow again. And yes, I will be back with beach walks and talks and longer videos, but I just need to spend some time with my friends now and my birthday and all that stuff. So hopefully you understand that. Thank you for watching. Always understand to be or not to be. And to be or not to be means stacking sets all the time instead of US dollars or euros. Then you are to be. If you're not to be, you're stacking euros and dollars and you will be poor as fuck in the future. And I will stay be happy with staying poor then. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. 